What's going on guys, Ryan here, and today we're gonna be doing the bathroom renovation, and more specifically, we're gonna be working on the shower door, which is actually right here. Now, I'm waiting for my dad to come. He's gonna help me install it because the glass panels are actually really heavy, and they're glass, and I need a second person. But, from the last video to this one, there's a little bit different from what you see right now. And let me show you real quick. So between episodes, I installed the light fixture and that's what it looks like. Pretty, beautiful. And then I did the shower head. I did, um, I put the little flange piece there and I put um, the little like valve for the toilet. Um, this was just to see if it was the right length and the right size and it's just like the look of it. I think I'm gonna paint these black because they'll match with the rest of the metals in here and I really don't wanna to mix too many metals. And I also did the outlets and the switches, which is why the lights work. And also, the fan works. Um, a couple things. There is some paint peeling right here and right here that I'm, I need to patch up. And that happened because I was dealing with the um, these switches which the metal bumped up against the wall and just made it not look that great and actually um, part of the metal actually scraped the wall here um, this switch is um, kind of like tilted that way I tried and tried and tried to get it better but it just doesn't want to go anywhere so that's gonna have to be how it is I did use spacers for the rest of them so they look pretty like official and they don't really they don't move when you put pressure on them, so when you plug something in, it's not going to move. Um, the light is not centered in the wall, in the space from, from here to here. And that's because I want the vanity to be further away from the shower than the wall. And I think when I did all the plumbing and stuff, that's how I did it. So I think the edge of the cabinet is actually like maybe right here. So the middle of it is right there with the thing but I haven't I haven't tr checked yet <laughs> and if it isn't um, we have a problem but this is the shower head um, this is a I forgot what this is actually called um, it's a 12 inch arm um, I think this is Glacier Bay and this is it says back here this is Glacier Bay this is something else actually I think they're both Glacier Bay but, and then um, I did some caulking around the shower and this is the part that I really, really don't like and I don't know if I can ever fix it or redo it or make it look any better. But I didn't do, I didn't cut the drywall very straight and very nice looking and I didn't trim down the edges. So there's a little bit of, I don't know, little pieces here and there. But you can still see it. I mean, it looks a little bit better than it was, but I don't know what else you can really do about it. But I did caulk it all. It looks okay from a distance. <laughs> um, I think it looks great from a distance, actually. But today, my dad and I are gonna install the shower door, which I've actually had for a while now. I think I bought this around the same time I bought the vanity, the mirror, uh, and a lot of other things. And that, if you don't, if you buy it and then you don't install it within like six months, um, if something happens where it's broken uh, when you open it or it um, doesn't fit and you want something else, you can't return it unless you have the Home Depot credit card and then you used it because then you have a year. Actually, I don't even know if you have six months. I think you have a regular 30 days. I can't remember what the receipt said, but I know with the credit card, you get a whole year to return something. And so if you don't, you know, open it up and check it when you first get it, you can actually have something that's broken when you actually want it. Example would be my bathroom vanity that I had, which I think was, which I think was this bathroom vanity I had for several months and then I opened it and it was broken. And I think luckily I was able to get it replaced uh, because I used my Home Depot credit card when I bought it, and so they allowed me to get it replaced and whatever. But that was a whole video on its own. 
Today, I'm gonna to do a time lapse to show kind of the process. I've already measured out where these pieces need to go, but I just didn't want to do it by myself completely. So I'm waiting for my dad. He'll be here in about an hour and a half, and then we'll get started. All right, so it's four o'clock. My dad left around 12, 31 o'clock, and I just got done caulking everything, the rest of the stuff that I need to caulk for the shower. And I just wanna say first, one, one thing is that clear caulk is so much easier to work with than white, than beige. Than, well, I mean, I don't, I've never worked with beige, but with any other caulk, because I, I think the coloring changes kind of how it, how it works, how you like, I don't know. Plus, I think I just kind of got used to my caulking gun, uh, just kind of how it works and the amount that gets put out versus how fast I need to go and whatever. But I guess I should stop making you wait to see what this looks like. Now, disclaimer, I have to clean the glass because we touched it a bunch and there were little stickers, so there's a little bit of residue left. Plus, some of the caulk got on the glass that I need to clean, but it's gonna be easy because it's glass. But here, it is. It looks, I'm gonna, tw I'm gonna twist it this way just for some of you so you can see all of it. But here is the full shower and I love it. It's not perfect by any means, but how can it be perfect when the wall, the walls and the, the base isn't perfect either. But this is what it looks like on the inside. Let me shut this real quick. You got, uh, wow, you can't even see through it. Well, I guess you can see the difference, but you can't even tell what's there. But um, this is what it looks like. There is, I think there's enough room in here. I mean, there's enough room in here for me to like <laughs> vlog, but um, I think there's enough room in here for someone to take a shower and um, probably even shave. It's gonna be a little, tight to shave your legs here, but um, I think this is exactly what I had in mind. There's a shower head, and I can't wait to to use it. I'm gonna be honest, I think I'm gonna use it first. <laughs> uh, really, I just wanna make sure that there's any, if there's any leaks, I can catch them, but I can, it doesn't matter who goes first, but um, the next part, the next video will be with the vanity and the toilet and the baseboards uh, and trim. Now, the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna do a, a sum of the baseboards and then I'm gonna do the vanity and toilet and then I'm gonna do the door with the rest of the baseboards. So I think one video will be baseboards and trim and then the other will be the vanity and toilet. And I think the next one will be the vanity and the toilet. I've already done some measurements you kind of see that faint line. That's the midpoint of the vanity that it's going to be lined up with. It's going to be very, very close to the wall here, if not touching, and then be a little bit further away from the shower. And um, because of the way that the like the, the location of these are, and the fact that this is actually kind of small, a small area, I'm going to have to cut it about that much. And I'm gonna to try to match it as much as possible. And then the drain in the floor will go about right there. But I don't know why I'm showing you that in this video, because that's not what this video is about. So with that being said, that will be next video. This will be the end of this video. 
I am kind of in love with it. Even though the caulking around the shower part I don't like and how the drywall just doesn't look good. I think overall, I mean, it's my first time, my first time doing a bathroom, not even just renovating, but, um, which is what I call this. I call it like a bathroom renovation, but I'm actually just installing a whole new bathroom. I'm literally building a bathroom from scratch, which is insane. But, um, that will be, I mean, in all honesty, uh, I think as a first time, I think there's a lot of things that went very, very well. And there's a few things that I've learned and a few other things where, um, things I would, I would have done differently. And I think I could do the next bathroom even better. With that being said, I think that's it for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to smack that like button as hard as you can. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help me a lot. And I'll uh, turn on post notifications too. And then I'll see you guys all next time. Brrrr.